love a little Aries. Aries, this is your second monthly video for the month of June. If you haven't watched that first one, uh, go to the description box. Um, wow, that's where I'm going to link in part one and part two. Or I mean, this is part two, but part three as well. Um, so in the first one, we got some sacred spirit reading cards. I pulled a few sacred geometry for you, which in this one, I'm going to pull more. But I'm going to read the book with the ones that came through originally also keep in mind it could be for rising sign moon sign aries so you can also check out you know your videos for your particular rising sign moon sign for your monthlies to get more specific clarification i got some new songs um libra energy and sagittarian energy i saw was it 416 no 416 413 a lot of libra even 9 30 um i think it was 10 03 10.08, 10.07, 10 10.31. 10 <laughs> so, uh, so there is Scorpio and 10.24. Anyways, um, so you could be dealing with these signs or dates, times could be different meanings for individual Aries. So keep that in mind. All right. So uh, first and foremost, before at the ending of your last video for your month, I pulled these. I just felt guided to grab what was on top. The Divine Doorway. The heart woman came in reverse. Oh, yes, there is also Gemini. I saw six, eight, and six, nine. So this is for your month of June messages, right? Um, So um, let's see, what are your songs? So Tom Petty, who is Libra, right? And running down the dream, okay? Um, Sweet Disaster. What is the, I can't remember what this song is called. Okay, and Pixies, where is my mind? Hmm. I'm trying to think. There was another song. That's all I'm going to give you for now, okay? <laughs> um, let's just read the, out of the book. So Divine Doorway and Leveling Up um, were in the last video as well. Seeing Angel Numbers 1144 and Aligning Your Universe 1-5. So a lot of Capricorn pulled for you as well as Aquarian in the last one. Um Oh, interesting I'm seeing like even the weird synchronicity with this expansion and the heart woman <laughs> 61 and 16 interesting so I'm going to read this divine doorway this and uh, the rest of these so medicine cards was spotlighted because medicine will also came through I see 720 so there is a little cancerian energy maybe leo um five seven maybe taurus uh 519 what else I'm seeing? Oh, big shift. I'm seeing 2026. So moving, looking even deeper into the future. We're in 2024 right now, right? Um, 726, so pulling Leo. 28, 2008, 208. Aquarius, I think I brought that up before. Anyways, let's just see, okay? Divine Doorway and Dancing Through Eternity, okay? The relationships. So I did see this came through with Aquarius energy. So some of you are very interlinked with Aquarian energy or you have it in your chart even. Um, 22, 2-2. Um, 5-9 is there as well. So 4-13, okay. Maybe that's specific for certain Aries. Um, the relationship dancing through eternity so i open that up that's what i opened the book to that was spotlighted in the aquarian energy and i know it came through in some of the other readings throughout the month so um 522 so maybe even some gemini huh or during that time one five so some of you obviously have even a capricorn on your rising sign potentially um maybe leo and it doesn't have to be, and if that's not yours, and I'm seeing a lot of Aquarian or Capricorn moon, which is interesting. Maybe Sagittarian, actually. Okay, let's just see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to five. This divine doorway. A portal. Inner vision, even. 525 and 57. Doorways and portals make it possible to access other dimensions. Beneath the color scheme of this painting lies a sacred number matrix borrowed from the calendar of ancient Maya. The water lilies represent your potential for enlightenment. The angelic figures offered as a guardian and a guide as you move through this doorway into realms you have yet to discover. Oh, the hidden realms even. This card invites you to contemplate a doorway to your divine center. 
This doorway will lead past the constraints of third dimensional reality to a place of truth within. Oh, I also go, yeah, did I say Killing Me Softly with his song in the Fuji's? Lauren Hill. Um, yeah, that was the one. Oh, well, that was the one. And of course, and see ya and the greatest, Stanima. I feel like that came through. Interesting, I also saw 1019 for Libra energy, and maybe also 1017. 10, 14, 10, 13. So a lot of different Libra energies, okay? And this is even the Gemini as well. So maybe some of you have Gemini risings. Um, or that, for me in particular, that, that date is an interesting day. Yeah. Uh, well, that's an interesting day. That's all I'm going to say at this point with this. Huh. This card invites you, right? Okay. Ask your guides. So this doorway will lead past the constraints of the third dimensional reality to a place of truth within. Ask your guides and teachers to assist you in moving to a quiet place where you will be ready to receive exactly the information you need at this moment. Listen to the voice of your intuition. Pay attention to the, any images or messages you receive, no matter how cryptic or obscure they may seem. Note them in your journal and continue to observe how they feel in your physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual bodies as you return to this reality. This is an access point to the other dimensions. Respectfully acknowledge the gifts of inner sight. Um, other dimensions. I got like some Beastie Boys. Intergalactic, planetary. Um, there, there is more songs. Um, I'm like, what is this other song? Um, oh, it's Talking Heads. And she was. <laughs> I don't know. I always think of the Heart Woman. Um, the band Heart. And, and straight on. I like that one a lot. Um, with Anne and Nancy there. Interesting. Wow. Okay, we're gonna go. So this is a different deck, the other book. I'm gonna go to the medicine well and explain that. 520. So there is quite a bit of Taurus. <laughs> Interesting enough, Taurus, maybe Taurus moons, even for some of you, or dealing with them. Um in this particular video. Okay, I'm gonna go to the 20. There's also 720, so Cancerian and 726. So Leo. Okay. Um the Trinity Triangle. Hmm. 108, 10, 8, 35. Hmm. Mother, father, child, beginning, middle, end. Okay. That's what I see there. I'm gonna go to the 1020. 1022. Okay, so even some. In 1021, connection to nature, 55. Wow. So we have 2010 being spotlighted as well. 5-5, five, five, even Taurus energy. And um, 2055 even. Medicine wheels and medicine shields are traditional ceremonial tools of Native people. They act as containers of sacred space. And they are means of connecting with spirit. They embody the symbolism of the circle. Often use the equilateral cross and the square and commonly employ animal and elemental totems as icons of protection and connectedness. This card offers a view of nature as a medicine wheel and asks you to remember your absolute connection to nature and the continuous movement and flow of the seasons and the heavens. Viewing ourselves as separate from nature leads to our alienation and loneliness. You will find comfort and psychic protection in viewing time and circumstances as part of the natural progression of life. Remember that you are part of the all that is one with God and not separate. Each molecule of your being is a spark of energy and light that connects with every other energetic particle in a way that speaks of unity and oneness with everything in the universe. Viewed in this way, you see clearly that you are never alone, always loved and always protected. Wow. So those were the first two messages. Um from the sacred geometry oracle that i opened for this month for the gemini energy uh, as well by francine hart i'm gonna share why i want to find out why the heart woman's in reverse and this one comes from the visionary path the second the second one francine hart as well um 61 the heart i'm seeing spirit can encourage okay infinite wisdom wisdom keeper five three 61 together we fly Ah, uh, it says someone you know lacks integrity. Make certain that person is not you. Inner knowing and integrity. 
Uh, ooh, that one's a little deep. One, three, nine. So I actually see a lot of Gemini with this energy. Uh, Aries, Sagittarian, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 7, 13, maybe Cancerian or 7, 4. Okay. And then we've got the Antikarana. And that is the 26, 2, 6. The bridge. So even expanding your, your knowledge, that's what that was recommended even. And you had a brand new reset even. There were spirit numbers or angel numbers under there and the zero, 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 three zeros and brand new reset, new beginning, learning something brand new. So this is for the whole month as well. So keep that in mind. Depends on when you get this. It is the 9th of June when I'm doing it and getting it out for you. So some of this might have already, you know, happened um, or if not, you know, take it how it resonates, guys, right? Um Oh, no way. I just said 6-9 and I looked down at the page number and it is 6-9 on here. To me, this is Gemini energy, but I, I also see this is a balanced give and take, the flow of receiving information, sharing information or letting things go. Even, you know, receiving, you know, if you receive um, your pay or something, then you go spend that on bills, food, fun, whatever, you know, the balanced flow. I also pull in it because it looks similar to uh, the the Cancerian energy, twenty six and sixty nine. Hmm. So also maybe Aquarius. So we've got and there is a little Leo potentially. Now it's upright, so this is good. The Antikarana is an ancient healing and meditation symbol that has been used in Tibet and China. And maybe that's something you might want to learn more about. Maybe you don't know much about it because it is um, focused right there um, by this expanded wisdom and knowledge. 726, Leo even. Um, 1, 6, and 26. Wow. So a 10-year. You know what I mean? I'm seeing just like this huge expansion of knowledge going from being... A, a teenage energy to, you know, a 26 year old person even, you know, and then to 66. Whoa. Uh, hmm. So then 40 year, you know, I don't know why I'm seeing that, but, um, anyways, it is part of the spiritual anatomy. This is the bridge that connects the physical brain to higher self. Wow. So this can even be, uh, all three pieces of you understand what, the 16 year old you the 26 year old you and even the 66 year old you or future you or younger you do you know what I mean um all coming together being bridged and connected this is connecting pieces of yourself this is really beautiful and your life journey tune into faithfully listen for the authentic empowered creative voice of my soul Guiding me flawlessly on my life journey. Weird. Faithfully. It makes me think of journey. and Faithfully. <laughs> journey. Okay. The band, you know. Um, wow. This is a bridge of light. Yeah, it is a part of the spiritual anatomy that connects the physical brain and the higher self. It is a bridge of light that aids in your connection to higher dimensions. It is said that the anta... Karana has its own consciousness and that merely being in its presence will raise a person's vibration and assist to healing and personal evolution. It is really fascinating. I have to say throughout uh, this monthly journey working with the sacred geometry in these decks, this one has been coming out for almost all the signs. So um, it's very beautiful. There is even there's like the flower of life, but it's in a hexagon and then you've got the cube as well. There's so many different dimensions to this. Hmm. Yeah, connecting with your higher self will offer insights into virtually any question or inquiry you may have had. The Antikarana may be seen as a direct link between your thoughts and your intuitive nature. It is the result of the interaction between matter and consciousness. Meditate with this shape. Relax deeply and give attention to your breath. Sit quietly and open to intuition and insight. Let this time act to strengthen the connection between thought and intuition. Realize the capacity for growth and healing you already possess. The answer to your inquiry will come through your ability to bridge the material world and the realm of spirit. 
You may wish to make a copy of this shape, place it on your altar, beside your computer, or in your healing space. Whenever you notice it, acknowledge your connection to your higher self and the wisdom that's always available through that communication. Wow. Wow. And that is so beautiful because that's what it even says here with these circles of healing that I also pulled for you guys in the very first video. Um, wow. Wow. So those were what was left off at the end of the last video. I'm completing that part and I want to actually get you animals. The circles of healing are spotlighted a little bit again. So I might get a little bit more throughout this reading. We'll see. Okay. I will also be getting a few more sacred geometries uh, and also for the visionary path. We'll see if I do tarot in this one. I feel guided right now to, to tune in with the animals and the medicine cards. Jamie Sands and David Carson and Angela Wernicke. Um, I think I gave you guys also a quick little peek and there was the wolf under there, one five. So we even have an interesting synchronicity, one five, one five, six, six. Maybe the 15th um, is very spotlighted for you, even. The wolf, um, I feel like, well, I'm, I'm not sure what it means upright. So we'll see. Maybe you got... The full moon is going to be uh, in Capricorn energy on, I believe, 621 this month. Yeah. Because <clears throat> I always see, like, the dog howling at the moon. That's what it makes me think of. So that's a little bit before. All right. And, whoa, there's grouse and dancing. And there is an open shield as well, which means, so that fell out. This is showing that... There is, this is a way that of protection, understanding what an open shield is, even creating your own. Um, so there could be another animal that isn't in this deck or and uh, anything that feels like an ally to you. It could be more the mythological, if you want to say unicorns, fairies, mermaids, oh my. Um, even putting sacred geometry, but this is even something you would put in that you feel guided for protection. And this shows me that there is other animals or um, symbols or things like that, um, that are not in this deck that are for you personally, individual Aries, even, um, I'm seeing the grouse here and the dancing <laughs> and the circle six, seven, even, uh, interesting. So maybe this already happened. I also think this is 34, 15, 34. How interesting. And then there's something in the middle there. Okay, I'm going to shuffle them, let them come out for the Aries for this month of June. All right, Aries, here we go. What do you, these beautiful medicine cards? Okay, so there was one. Okay, I brought up some weird stuff in court about court things and things that are on the news. And oh, I don't want to bring it up again. I'm just going to leave that. I'm going to let that go. Um, I, there was a name, though, that I think I got wrong. And I brought up some crazy music with the Pisces. And so I'm just going to arch enemy. Uh, I thought her name was Angela, the singer. She has blue hair. It's some, it's some crazy. It's, it, but it's Alyssa. And I'm like, wait, this song, or this song. Oh, that name's coming out again. Um, but that one was spotlight and I pulled in the Piscean energy, which is kind of weird. I don't know. Arch enemy is, is the band name. Um, it's, it's pretty heavy. Um, and you know, it's like. Hmm. It, uh, screamo thrash metal I don't know what do you she's it, it sounds like you know she's pulling she's using her inner beast oh the it, releasing the beast and uh breakwater there's a song for you <laughs> uh, releasing the breeze and big Blake I can't even say anything Blake I said breakwater um that's interesting <laughs> This is um an 80s song. Uh New Year's Day, 1 1 1980. Breakwater. That was a new song. Okay. And like release the beast. I think that's what it's like. Okay. I don't know why I'm sharing that with you, but here we go. All right. Woo! Yeah. We got the skunk. We got the buffalo. It's kind of sideways. Ah, prairie dog. Uh I might read this both ways because how I picked it up. Prairie dog. I feel like it's prairie dog poking back in its hole. You know what I mean? Hmm. Going back in. Let's see where I'm going to place it. 
I'll set it on here. Buffalo went a little sideways, so I think this is also about gratitude. And maybe this is something about with this heart energy. Interesting enough. And the playfulness. You know, so it is beautiful how it's showing here. Like, whatever. I'm like, I don't remember now what I said about this heart. About integrity. Someone not having integrity around you. 636399. Uh, six, nine, and playfulness. Courage. And the carnelian, the 19. Hmm. I don't, I, I, I don't like taking them in reverse, but it came sideways. I guess I'm going to leave it there because it's crossing. We got skunk. So this is even about the warning and the smell. <laughs> um, but what they, when they, so it's also saying about, it's putting up warnings, but doing no harm, right? Because the skunk doesn't, it's not technically enough physically hurt someone it's gonna make you stink or something right hmm. this medicine will and the skunk came up for uh the pisces no way black panther and they got jaguar five two seven seven wow okay this medicine will open your intuition seeking clarification about this smell smell this warning also about what type of this is interesting black panther here for medicine will and action 33 six seven 27 yeah 2007 even 620 being spotlighted again during so excuse me <laughs> as I was about to talk, I was like, ah. So the way I'm showing this as well is this when you uh for our whole month, this is the shift. So I'm saying when you get to like the 20th or even once again the 720 spotlighted. Whoa, 720 double time. No way the horse. Whoa. Whoa. This is amazing. The Panther, Black Panther. Whoa. The horse, the lynx is in reverse. So someone's been blabbing their mouth or sharing information uh, potentially with an opponent or someone who has bad intention. Uh, not, not keeping the secrets. We got 1918, 1918, 47, particularly Aries. Okay, well... 826, a little Virgo, and 88. And 78. So the horse is very ethereal, very spiritual. Um, connecting. So learning. This one is amazing, the Mustang here. So it does depend on which horse you see. New beginnings, even. This is about freedom and action as well. Educating your mind and expanding your awareness. And to Karana, the horse. The links in reverse, I'm I'm going to flow them through. This is what I'm seeing here with something. So we'll pull tarot as well. So you have to take it as it resonates, right? Because sometimes these are warning you. Because I also see you or someone else might not have integrity. And I'm also seeing that this could be you sharing something with someone who actually going to go. You know, this is the cat out of, letting the cat out of the bag so to speak, the links, and it came through in the Pisces reading, but it was upright about links medicine. Hmm. The links, LinkedIn. Um, now we've got 3939, the swan. This is also about dreams and transformation. 9, 10, 11. So there's Piscean again with this. 939. 12, 9, 12, maybe Virgo and Cancer sign. 9, 10, 12, 7, 12. The Swan. This is quite a bit. And Turkey. Wow. This is about generosity. 9, 10, 11, 12. 12, 31. Wow. So New Year's Eve even, Capricorn and 7, 31. Uh, Leo energy, 20, 31. 2004. Hmm. Turkey in reverse is usually about being very generous. So I'm going to find out why. 
This is, hmm. So I did get, I want to see how many cards came through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So a total of eight, but with this buffalo on the side, I mean, I could definitely move this a little bit over. Let's just jump into, yeah. Let's just see what this, I want to see where the prairie dog uh, uh, is in reverse, even getting yourself aligned, maybe going back in your hole, 25 and 19. All right, here we go with the medicine cards book. I open it up to squirrel um, and gathering. Um, 26, what's it, seven, eight, seven, 87. So maybe even dealing with Leo or squirrel came through with Pisces as well in reverse, which was about hoarding. Um, <laughs> um, wow. Okay. That's what I open up to. I'm, I'm to save on time. I'm not going to read all of that right now. So like I said, um, if you do have a lot of Pisces in your chart or you're dealing with a Pisces, check out their videos as well. Vice versa. Um, I'm seeing, and maybe even the Cancerian Capricorn, you know what I mean? Um, however you feel guided. I see a lot of Capricorn as well. Maybe Capricorn Risings even. Doesn't have to be. Um, also 8-1, maybe Leo. Cancer. 1-9, so 1-7. One 1-8. One huh. And I see the lizard here and dreaming. No way. And I look down I see 1-8-8 eight eight or 1-8-1. One one. Okay. I got to go to 47 here. Okay, swans there as well. About grace and the dream time again. So that was the interesting thing. One of the songs was, oh, that's what it's called. The Dreamers or something. Sweet Disaster. In a river of champagne. Huh, only got bad things on my mind. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't know. Uh, okay. Uh, 47. Prairie dog. I see the Sam in there too. I see two, two, two. Retreat. 47. 47 even Aries. And then, wow. So I'll pull in more Pisces. 225. Okay. So when I bring up the different numbers and different things, it is to help give specifics for individual Aries, right? You know, and sometimes if you're not dealing with that specific uh, birthday or time or and it could be an anniversary day. It could be a death day. It could be a person, right? Um, but it's interlinking definitely Pisces with this Aries energy. Um, maybe Scorpio as well. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, nine. Prairie dog calls me when it's time to rest. When it's time to honor the internal quest. I go into retreat so I may see a way to replenish the potential in me. Wow. So retreat. It says uh, maybe even going on a retreat or retreating, but he's in reverse. So I'm going to see what it says. Oops, the worry bug may have bitten Prairie Dog and has appeared in the contrary. Has the workaholic syndrome gotten the best of your inner knowing and sensible outlook on life? Workaholic, that makes sense. Eh? Have you been tunneling in a non-productive direction because you forgot to come up for air? Look around and get your bearings. Have you become addicted to the adrenaline created by scurrying up? catch up scurrying to catch up something about the catch up gotta catch up i actually had the weirdest dream actually now that i say that um and it was about a sense of an adrenaline junkie even like free falling maybe that's even a tom petty song free falling um but it was like a skydiving thing it was a weird thing. I don't know how to explain. But the sense of needing. So it was like there are certain people. Why do they do certain things? Because they are addicted to the adrenaline uh, kick or the dopamine hits from things like that. Adrenaline junkie. Huh. Addicted to adrenaline creating by scurrying to catch up. If you get sick from the chaos of overactivity, you may have an unwelcome and enforced rest period at hand, right? Though this is like making sure you're taking care of yourself, not overdoing it. Constant stress can steal your inspiration and ability to think on your feet. Another contrary message of Prairie Dog is believing that compromise or retreat is a sign of weakness. 
Goodbye, lie. You can get stuck in this one-way tunnel if you let your head get too big. If you cannot be still, be comfortable alone, or if you cannot delegate responsibility, you need a reality check. Do not be afraid to take a break, to refill your resources, and to adopt a healthy, more relaxed viewpoint. Contrary, Prairie Dog also teaches that pushing too hard can have dire consequences. The cemeteries are filled with people who once believed that they were indispensable. Mm. Wow. That's a, that's, you know, that's kind of, it really does resonate with these certain things. Um, navigating distractions and getting focused even. There's a lot of scattered energy. So that's a warning of, you know, listening to yourself and uh, not letting stress overcome you and needing to rest and delegate responsibility. So I'm seeing a lot of ten of wands, right? Of and, and you know, as Aries energy, I feel like that's kind of your and even Capricorn, you know, do it yourself or just take the action and hmm. So where Buffalo here is in sideways, we're gonna see number nineteen. I see this as prayer and abundance. Okay. Buffalo, you bring us the gifts of life. This is even by this divine doorway. Here are prayers, smoke rising like phoenix. We are reborn within sacred words. So this is a number 19. We also have one five there. I also see 113. So so much Capricorn pulling. Um 114. Um could be eleven three as well. So scorpionic. So some of you can have Scorpio risings, eleven four, or be this. Um, let me see, five, three, four, five. Yeah, more one, five, so much about one, five and, and one, nine even. Um, so since it's in a sideways position, receiving Buffalo upside down is a signal you have forgotten to seek help when it is needed. If your hand is closed in a fist, you cannot receive the bounty of abundance. In understanding the significance of the reverse Buffalo, you may well ask yourself, <laughs> number one have i forgotten my eternal partner the great spirit number two am i pushing myself too fast in the physical world and keeping myself from seeing the importance of reunion with the source of all life number three have i forgotten to honor the ways of others and to afford them the same respect that i wish to receive for myself number four am i feeling like my life is being used for the highest good at this time and number five have i forgotten to be grateful for my life my possessions, my talents, my abilities, my health, my family, or my friends. Number six, is it time to make peace with another or to make peace with some inner conflict? 115, 11, 5. Weird. This is really interesting. Maybe it's, it's Alyssa or something or illicit. Huh. Become Buffalo. Feel the smoke of prayer and praise change your buffalo robe to white so that you may be an answer to the prayers of the world. All right, and upright, this also says, in Lakota tradition, the white buffalo calf woman who brought the sacred pipe to the people. Ah, uh, that's even talking about nicotine and tobacco. As a, uh, hmm, a sacred, that's why there's smoke rising with it. The peace pipe, you know. The bowl of the pipe was the receptacle that held tobacco and herb with male and female medicine. The stem of the pipe represented the male entering the female and seeding life. In the coming together of male and female, the connection to the divine energy of the great spirit was made. As the pipe was loaded with tobacco, every family in nature would ask to enter into the pipe and share its medicine as prayer and praise to the heavens. The smoke was considered to be a visual pair and was very sacred and cleansing. All animals are sacred, but in many traditions, white buffalo is the most sacred. The appearance of white buffalo is a sign that prayers are being heard, that the sacred pipe is being honored, and that the promise of prophecies are being fulfilled. White buffalo signals a time of abundance and plenty. Buffalo was the major source of sustenance for the Plains Indians. It gave meat for food, hides for clothing, warm and soft buffalo roads for long winters, and hooves for glue. I would say is even with nutrition, 
it's interesting. There's this, ah, there's this other Aries person who I remember talking about. Um, so the energy of the food you intake, you know, um, and using like, um, grass fed buffalo is leaner, healthier even, um, but giving you this strength. Uh, and getting, you know, protein and iron um, versus eating fish, which is, you know, not, I'm not saying there's anything wrong. Like healthy amigo, amigo. <laughs> yeah, it's a healthy friend. It's a healthy amigo. Uh, omega, that's what I meant to say. But um, they just kind of swim around mindlessly sometimes, you know, and even, but but there is beautiful reference. Like they do intuitively just return home or during things like that, but, and then chicken, they just walk around squawking without any real guidance or direction. They need a shepherd and things like that, where the buffalo stands firm and grounded. Um, anyways, that, that made me think of this, um, it is sacred too, of sustenance for life and, and keeping you warm through the, to me, buffalo is also about keeping you warm through the storms of life, even and um strong mm. major source of sustenance yeah that's what it says for the plains indians it gave meat for food hides for clothing warm and soft robes for long winters and hooves for glue the medicine of buffalo is prayer gratitude and praise for that which has been received buffalo medicine is also knowing that the abundance is present when all relations are honored as sacred and when gratitude is expressed to every living part of creation. Because of its desire to give the gifts that it its body provided. And because of its willingness to be used on earth for the highest good before entering the hunting grounds of spirit. Buffalo did not readily stampede and run from hunters. To use buffalo medicine is to smoke the pipe in a sacred manner. And to give praise for the richness of life to be shared with all races, all creatures, all nations and all life. Wow, 113, 114. It's it's very interesting. Even scorpionic too, right? 11, 3, 11, 4, 11, 5. Huh. It means smoking for others so that their needs are met. Maybe even smoking meat. You know what I mean? How interesting is that? Praying for the good of all things in harmony and accepting the great mystery as a part of that harmony. If you haven't drawn the buffalo card... Oh, excuse me. If you have drawn the buffalo card, you may be asked to use your energy in prayer. You may also be called upon to be an instrument of someone else's answer to a prayer. This could portend a time of recognizing the sacredness of every walk of life, albeit different from your own. To honor another's pathway, even if it brings you sadness, is a part of the message that buffalo brings. This may be a time of reconnection to the meaning of life and the value of peace. Most assertedly, this time will bring serenity amidst chaos if you pray in earnest for enlightenment and the power of calmness and give praise for the gifts you already have but luminous in his sign you achieve nothing without the aid of great spirit and that you must be humble enough to ask for that assistance and be grateful for what you receive wow very very beautiful all right why is this links here in reverse um, I see the owl. I am going to go back. It's one card, one page backwards. Something was going backwards, right? Wow, 110 and 111. So like I said, um, wow. If Lynx has appeared in reverse position, it's time to shut your big mouth. Something you're jabbering about has let the cat out of the bag. Ooh. 11-1 one even. Are you defiling a sacred trust or have you broken a promise to a friend? If not, you may have pulled a good prank on yourself by blabbing your latest idea to the friend of a competitor. Watch your tongue and see if you're able to refrain from gossiping or talking about your latest romantic conquest or theirs. Look and see if, oh yeah, and like not sharing certain, so there is a sense of, I actually, there was something weird and I recognize that uh, even me sharing certain things and then there is always, there is some hater watcher that is sending bad energy, you know, bad ill intention, bad thoughts, 
Amen. <clears throat> okay. So be careful, right? Watch your tongue, right? All right. Look and see if in your present state you are able to listen and truly be interested in someone else's stories or ideas. On this level, Lynx is telling you to become worthy of trust and integrity. Uh, that was very interesting because it did even the skunk, this heart. You or someone else not having integrity and the playfulness. Huh. Kurt Cobain and oh me is coming through a little bit. And there's Dave Grohl and there's Dave Byrne and there's Tom Petty, right? Hmm, Tom. I'm always like, what is that? Is Tom being petty? Oh, I'm just kidding. Running down a dream. I'm just kidding. I don't know. Um, Matt Lauren Hill. Hmm. A letter. And maybe even with a Capricorn. So be, be wise with this. Hmm. On this level, Lynx is telling you to become worthy of trust. The secrets will be available to you. Ooh, the secrets that you keep while you're talking in your sleep. <laughs> you might be looking at choosing to have your brain in gear before your babble starts. Or your foot may have to replace your tongue. Ooh, there's some foot and mouth stuff. This is the know-it-all syndrome. Oh, the know-it-all syndrome. They call me Mr. Know-it-all. I will not compromise. This is, uh, yeah, so Primus pop through. It's so weird when I do this and song lyrics and different things just come through and I, I just share it. So, uh, <laughs> less Claiborne, right? Um, weird. I did get a lot of the, the name Greg too, which is different, or Glenn Kirsten. Huh. Mona Lisa, Lisa Smile, Stacy Tracy. Hmm. Let me see what else we got here. The know it all syndrome, just so up your ears. If you want to talk, just so up your ears. After all, talking leaves no room for hearing or learning. Lynx is a tough teacher, and if you have let the cat out of the bag, be ready for the consequences. Become Lynx and wear the Mona Lisa smile. Only you will know what you're smiling about. The cat will not have your tongue. You will, as well as the power over it. Ooh, the Bible even speaks of, I believe it's in James. <laughs> yeah. Is the power of life and death is in the tongue and who can control it. Um, hmm. I feel like because of the Gemini energy, it does have this sense of just talking. Um, but also, wow. So that's interesting. I, I'm going to go to the skunk. It is upright. And that black Panther, um, porcupine there, even about innocence. Um, gentleness, the eagle, wow, there's some Leo Aries energy with that, and maybe Cancer sign, or Pisces, okay, I need to go to the number seven here, the reputation, ah, skunk, tell me the story, so I will know it well, of how to attract and how to repel Six five, so seven eleven even. Uh, it might be a Cancer sign or a Capricorn sign that I'm seeing potentially to be careful about. Um, respect. There is a little Scorpionic transformation. Skunk medicine. Go ahead and laugh. This furry little animal has a reputation that contains a great deal of power. Due to its distinctive behavior, humans give this tiny, smelly creature a wide berth. The key word here is respect. Ooh, ooh, interesting. I am getting respect and walk by Pantera. Ooh, listen to that song, Aries. Can you see your misery by the persistence? One step from lashing out at you. You want in to get under my skin and call yourself a friend. I've got more friends like you. What do I do? Is there no standard anymore? What it takes, who I am, 
where I've been below. You can't be something you're not. Be yourself. By yourself. Stay away from me. A lesson learned in time. See, that's what Skunk even doing. You know, stay away from me. I'm, there's a warning. You know, they warned. There, There's not a sense of truly wanting. You know what I mean? They're not, you're not going to get hurt. Um by their spray but it's a it's uncomfortable and it's about putting up your boundaries and warnings of out with doing no harm as well um so that's like you know i got keenan and we got phil and die back daryl and uh, pantera makes me also think of um a lot of cancerian libra as well but i'm pulling it out there with that huh i dare you oof it came through in the Pisces one, too, like I was saying. And I was talking about... So, interesting enough, you got Prairie Dog. And Pisces got Dog in the first. And I was like, oh, yeah. Well, the dog don't really care. He's like, hmm. I know that what you do isn't lethal. And I'm still going to come get you. And it's an instinct, right? So, it's about crossing boundaries as well. They're not going to mess with you unless you come in to their territory. It's territorial. Ooh. Territorial pissings. Yeah, and Nirvana. Kurt Cobain. <laughs> wow. 6-5. Six, so there's even some Gemini. 6-5, six, 6-7, six, six, six. Hmm. Unlike other predatory animals, skunk does not threaten your life but threatens your senses. You know this to be true if you've ever been in the vicinity of its spray. In observing the habit patterns of skunk, it's easy to notice the playfulness and nonchalance of its natural behavior. The I dare you attitude of this four-legged creature commands you as the observer to respect its space by mere reputation alone. Ooh, okay. And weirdness as you had even three, nine. What? I'm seeing the synchronicity. Okay, what, 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 what? Let me see the thrift shop in Macklemore. Ben. <laughs> Okay, because you had 3939 three, and then 6363 three, and then 39 off the swan. It's about dream time even. A portal. And transformation. The ugly duckling, you know? Oh. Becoming. Wow. There could be a little side with that. Wow, okay. Learn to assert... Without ego, what you are. Respect follows. Your self-respectful attitude will repel those who are not of like mind and yet will attract those who choose the same pathway. As the odor of the skunk attracts others of its kind, it repels those who will not respect its space. Skunk medicine have the, the ability to attract others and they are very charismatic. At the same time, the other side of their nature power is to repel those who seek to take energy from them without recycling the gifts they have taken skunk medicine also know how to use the energy flows that will attract a lover i also got like the pepe le pew you know <laughs> pepe le pew mm -hmm. oh sherry <laughs> the sexual magic as it is akin to the must scent that animals excrete to attract a mate it can be dangerous to leak sexual energy if you are not looking for a mate. It puts you in the to a games condition that may feed your ego, but not how others feel about you. If you are attracting others who have an interest in you, you are in a sense saying, I'm available. This can cause hard feelings when the truth comes out. It also leaks energy that you could have used in a more constructive way. In skunk medicine, it is good to learn how to handle energy flows. Modern psychologists call this body language. In tribal teachings, this is your personal medicine which you are showing to others. Use your medicine well and know that you are known by your reputation. How you use your energy will attract either honor or disgrace. Reputation. You may want to examine what energy you are putting out that creates your present situation. Oh, it says, and in reverse it says, if your ego is not your amigo, you know it stinks. If you've chosen this symbol, you're being asked to notice the kinds of people who are attracted to you. 
If they emulate favorable characteristics, have enough self-esteem to recognize those characteristics within you and yourself, walk tall and be proud of the accomplishments you have made, bear in mind that what you believe about yourself is your ultimate protection. Pro project self-respect. Ooh, self-respect. Mm. And we got the Black Panther and the Swan. All right. Uh, Armadillo popping in about even boundaries. Yeah. Boundaries 28. Maybe Texas. There's Badger. Let's see what, what number I'm at. Ant. I always kept thinking maybe you guys would get the ant, or maybe it's even an ant. But this is about patience and. About working with others too. Patience grows like sands of time. All right. 52 and 32. 3, 2. Pisces. Hmm. Ooh. Frog and cleansing. Ooh. Okay. 38. And now we're going to 3, 9. 39. Maybe even someone is 39 or they were. There was a lot about 39. Um. 18. Huh. All right. Let's see what Swan says. Grace. Swan, the power of woman entering sacred space. Touching future yet to come, bringing eternal grace. Little swan. So I'm pulling in, like I said, even the Piscean energy, Aries. There is no way the page number is even 193 and 39. So there is also potentially Gemini, Sagittarian. Yeah, that's what I got. Maybe Virgo. 13. 12, 13. 12, 4, 3, 4. And Pisces, too. Little Swan through, flew through the dream time, looking for the future. She rested for a moment in the coolness of the pond, looking for a way to find the entry point to the future. This was a moment of confusion for Swan, as she knew that she had happened into the dream time by accident. This was her first flight alone, and she was a bit concerned by the dream time landscape. As Swan looked high above Sacred Mountain, she saw the biggest swirling black hole she had ever seen. Ah, oh, into the void. Mm. <clears throat> Dragonfly came by, flying by, and Swan stopped to ask him about the black hole. Dragonfly said, Swan, that is the doorway to the other planes of imagination. I have been guardian of the illusion for many, many moons. If you want to enter here, you would have to ask permission and earn the right. Even open intuition and seek clarification. Hmm. Um, let's see swan was not so sure that she wanted to enter the black hole she asked dragonfly what it was necessary for her to earn entry dragonfly replied you must be willing to accept whatever the future holds as it is presented without trying to change great spirit's plan swan looked at her ugly little duckling body and then answered I will be happy to abide by Great Spirit's plan. I won't fight the currents of the black hole. I will surrender to the flow of the spiral and trust what I am shown. Dragonfly was very happy with Swan's answer and began to spin the magic to break the pond's illusion. Suddenly, Swan was engulfed by a whirlpool in the center of the pond. Swan reappeared many days later. I was even seeing, so the whirlpool, I was like seeing it as I was... And it makes me think, so the sacred geometry, we will get more of that, right? But I was saying even the Taurus energy, which is a vortex, right? Um, the spiral even, uh, and a donut shape. Hmm. Swan reappeared many days later, but now she was graceful and white and long necked. There is this huge transformation I'm seeing with both. Look, we even got black and white. It talked about the white buffalo the lynx so maybe there's a, a white horse even a black horse because the horse i can't wait till we get to this the paint horse here in this expansion this one's fascinating aries um learning something new it's also remembering you're not too old to learn 35 52 39 whatever to go back even if you want to truly go to you know a college or something like that or whatever you feel guided to learn about is coming through in the dreams there. And so it's showing this transformation from black swan to white swan even. And then the sacred white buffalo, black panther. Interesting. Oh, surrendering 
nine foreign planets in Virgo with this and uh, Capricorn too. Um, 13, maybe even one, three or nine, four. Um, also maybe Scorpio. Yeah. Or Cancerian energy. Great spirit was taken to where the future lives. I saw many wonders high on sacred mountain and because of my faith and my acceptance, I've been changed. I've learned to accept the state of grace. Dragonfly was very happy for Swan. Swan told Dragonfly many of the wonders beyond the illusion through her healing and her acceptance of the state of grace. She was given the right to enter the dream time. So it is that we learn to surrender to the grace of the rhythm of the universe and slip from our physical bodies into the dream time. Swan medicine teaches us to be at one with all planes of consciousness and to trust in great spirit's protection. If you pulled Swan, it ushers in a time of altered states of awareness and of development of your intuitive abilities. Swan medicine people have the ability to see the future, to surrender to the power of great spirit, and to accept the healing and transformation of their lives. The Swan card is telling you to accept your ability to know what lies ahead. If you're resisting your self-transformation, relax. It will be easier if you go with the flow. Stop denying that you know who is calling, that you <laughs> stop denying that you know who's calling when the phone rings. Pay attention to your hunches and your gut knowledge and honor even your female intuitive side. Wow. Wow. Okay, I want to see why Turkey is in reverse before I move on to Black Panther and Horse for you as he weasels, thinking in and out. Oh, beautiful. Turkey, right here. Give it away. Ho, oh, brother Turkey. So freely you give of everything that you are so others may truly live. Turkey. 31. 731 is some Leo. I'll see Capricorn, Pisces, 678. No way. So 48, 48 in particular, maybe Cancer Science, maybe also dealing with Taurus or have that in your chart. Uh, or Leo, right? That's what I kind of see here. Uh, in contrary, also Aries, Virgo, Taurus. Yeah, 6789. Yeah. There are several aspects to pulling the gobbler card in the reverse position here. Are you gobbling up anything and everything that out of fear of lack? Hmm. Are you holding on too tight and refusing to let go of a dime for charity? It could be that the Scrooge in you has grown accustomed to the miserly aspect of living. Ooh. If not, you might look at the possibility that you have are fearful of spending money at this time. Another aspect of contrary gobbling is the idea that the world owes you something and that you do not need to recycle the energy. The buck stops here may only mean that it stops in your bank account. On all levels of this contrary message, the keynote is that generosity of spirit is being neglected. This can be towards self or others. Remember, never give to receive. This is manipulation. Giving is without regret and with joyful heart or the giveaway has lost its true meaning. Ah, yeah. Black Panther. Wow. And horse. I'm going to go to horse next. But looks like Black Panther is going to kind of be, I mean, wow. When we get there with this medicine wheel. Um, action 3367. Wow. Over here with this expansion um, and learning new things. Um, 35 in the anti-corona. That's, that's an amazing thing about healing and expanding, educating your mind. I want to tell you about horse now. Okay. Cause horse is amazing. This one, my favorite. What are we on time? 58. Dang. See, you know what? I don't know if I'll be able to get into some of the other, um, messages. looks like these spirit animals wanted to be the main focal point, right? Um, for this particular second video for your month of June. So I will just finish up these last two. Thank you all so much. I hope you have enjoyed, um, gotten clarification. Um, you know, check yourself. This is about knowing yourself, right? As, all, as always, this is a warning about being careful who you're sharing information and what you're attracting in. And there's stuff in your dreams. There could be a sense of not having gratitude or fear even about, um, about being generous or giving to. That's... Mm. Very interesting. All right. Antelope is there. Uh, 
lizard and dreaming. 35, the power. Horse. Wow. So I'm even seeing seven, eight, one, six, right? Um, this was the zero, 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 the reset. And the Antikorana is the 26, 35. So eight, seven, eight, eight, eight. Wow. So this could be some Leo energy or this is about abundance, power, um, Cancerian. Yeah, I'm pulling a lot of Leo, which is that's kind of interesting here. Um, Pisces, Gemini. Wow. Mighty horse, power to run across the open plains. Kept talking about the plains people and you got the prairie. The prairie and the plains. Ah, like a different plane even. Airplanes, huh? Or to bring the vision of the shields. Dancing in purple dream rain. Purple dream rain. Oh my gosh, it makes me think of just Prince and purple rain, purple rain. Oh, I didn't mean to make you sad and cry. I found out he's a Gemini, Prince. Wow, that's crazy. He just had, had his birthday. Okay, horse power. Horse power. Oh my gosh. Do you know what I'm talking about? There's some horse power. Oh my gosh. The Mustang. Huh. <laughs> 808 horsepower. 88 abundance. Stealing horses is stealing power was a statement made frequently in historical Native American and a reference to the esteemed role which horse played in the Native cultures. Wow. There's also airy. I actually see, whoa, Dream Mocker. I brought that up. Whoa, and Black Panther too. The Dream Walker. Shadow Walker even. I am from the void where answer lives. So even, do you see the way I'm reading this? So entering the void in the dreams where the answer lives. The horse is. So dreaming about horses. Um, horse is also ruled by Piscean energy. Um, the 12th house. Okay. Um, so I do see three, five. This to me also makes me think of my mother, uh, maybe even grandmother, but the Gemini, I see Libra and Cancer as well as the Leo. So 14, 15, 8, 15, 8, 6, 1, 7, 8, the Black Stallion. <gasps> oh my goodness. I, so the Black Stallion, do you remember that that book or even the movie was even Black Beauty? Dude, okay. The little mini books. <laughs> Cause I open up a bunch of fun little minis to give, you know, for a pick a card, pick a message. And there's one I haven't brought forth. I, I've been planning on doing it. It's kind of some that we've opened up together and my daughter ended up giving it to me because you know I love the little mini trinkets and and stuff too but um I have a little black beauty one so I think I might set up some different piles uh, as well because I I thoroughly enjoy doing the mystery piles <laughs> and then just uncovering it and seeing putting the pieces together and reading the message but I, I feel guided to bring some of those in so for you guys in particular Aries or um those who are watching this, regardless of your, you know, sun sign. Um, and I haven't set this up or done it yet, but maybe it's already been in play, but look forward to that. Or maybe there's a message in this Black Stallion or the Black Beauty book. Could pull in also Taurus and Libra with this. Okay. All right. Horse is physical power and unearthly power. In shamanic practices throughout the world, horse enables shamans to fly through the air and reach the heavens. Humanity made a great leap forward when horse was domesticated, a discovery akin of that fire. Before horse, humans were earthbound, heavy laden and slow creatures indeed. Once humans climbed on horse's back, they were as free and fleet as the wind. Well, I got like Christopher Cross and that. What is that? Fly like the wind? They could carry burdens for great distances with ease. Through their special relationship with horse, humans altered their self-concept beyond measure. Horse was the first animal medicine of civilization. 
Humanity owes an incalculable debt to horse and to the new medicine it brought. It would be a long walk to see one's brother or sister if horse had not welcomed the two-legged rider upon his back. Today we measured the capacity of engines with the term horsepower, a reminder of the days when horse was the honored and highly prized partner with humanity. Dreamwalker, a medicine man, was walking across the plains to visit the Arapaho nation. He carried with him his pipe. So, so we got the pipe. Man, to me, there's so much like, I just see the peace pipe, even maybe someone actually, you know, just smoking a pipe, a bong and a blintz. I don't know. <laughs> pipe and a pancake. <laughs> I'm just, um, but, um, you know what I mean? This is so, that's why this one is, has so much resonance for me, uh, as well. And being a Libra, um, it really, some of the journeys, um, <laughs> that I've had, I, I truly have had this experience and this happened before I knew this knowledge, before I read this card. Um, and so this just reiterates what I experienced and the, um, with soul retrieval, uh, inner child stuff, connecting with healing, uh, weird things that we don't, I don't know. So I, I bring up, uh, Sedona and the soul adventures, uh, soul adventures is, um, the one that they set up. There's a bunch of different intuitive things and, you know, uh, it's a big, huge, um, I'm all, it's literally like some deep, uh, therapeutic healing. It's like going to counseling. It's like magnified by this, but in, in one of these sessions I had, it's so, it's, it's just, it's very, it's, it touches my heart. I'm noticing a similarity. It's, there's even a shape shift thing here. What, what, what? As I'm looking, the swan, the skunk, and the black panther have a connection. What is this with this fossil or coral? They're a little different. This one has the red. So there's so many interesting little things and details. But literally it was... Um, you know, it was a guided meditation, even a very, it was a shamanic thing. And let me just tell you that the person who performed this, you, you wouldn't look at her and think that she's a shaman. Okay. She just looked like normal every day. The, the only clue was her necklace, maybe. And she did the most beautiful chanting ceremony, healing bowls. Your eyes are covered. Oh, it was just amazing. And I actually visualized that and it was just, you know, your guide is coming and who is it? And I saw the painted horse, you know, and, and explain and, um, a native American ancestor, beautiful black hair braids. She was like this warrior <laughs> and I got on the back. So we were like both riding the horse and then we the horse runs and you literally like jumping through portals. Now this is all helping it. You're, it's in your mind's eye, right? Like, I don't know, but, um, but it, <laughs> you, you lose yourself. Like you don't have control over, I mean, what happens? And it was an amazing thing. They took me up to the clouds and I was able to connect with my brother who had passed away. And find some type of sense of peace. Um, even though he had actually taken his own life. Okay. Which is a very challenging. Uh, to try and process and understand those. That type of death. Okay. But. So that was some deep healing for me. And so I share that because I think we're all looking for that as well. And if it comes through and this is for you guys, I highly recommend going there uh, or finding, you know, you know, trust your guidance by people that they've made this their, you know, this is the, that it's their, their passion, their purpose. 
um, yeah, because there was so much wonderful healing and even the sandbox. I don't even know. The sandbox. Dang, it's so great. When you can work one-on-one -on -one with the people and it's not just an online thing. Now, I think these are great. I enjoy doing this as well. It is is very different because it is that the person... Um, trusting their intuition and the guide is just there to help interpret or you know I don't even know how to like you go pick out your own crystals your own symbols your own rocks your own cards your own things your energy what you're drawn to and then it and then it helps show the you know whoever is the guide or a, the mentor at that time or the professional that's helping um yeah I'm just saying, it was some freaking amazing stuff right there. Okay. And I get taken back on this. So <laughs> now I'm just... The Black Stallion. Yeah, yeah. The Black Stallion. Wow. So Dreamwalker, a medicine man, was walking across the plains to visit the Arapaho Nation. He carried with him his pipe. The feather tied into his long black hair pointed to the ground, marking him as a man of peace. Yeah, there's definitely, and there is, there is, is there is the feathers in the hair. Huh. Over the rise of the hill, Dreamwalker saw a herd of wild mustangs running toward him. Black Stallion approached him and asked if he was seeking an answer on his journey. Black Stallion said, I am from the void where answers where answer lives right on my back and know the power of entering the darkness and finding the light dreamwalker thanked black stallion agreed to visit him with his medicine was okay when his medicine was needed in the dream time yellow stallion approached dreamwalker next and offered to take him to the east Ooh, so the yellow the golden to the east where illumination lives, Dreamwalker could share the answers he found there to teach and, illum and illuminate others. Once again, Dreamwalker thanked Yellow Stallion and said he would use these gifts of power on his journey. Red Stallion approached, rearing playfully. Ah, the red. Huh. He told Dreamwalker of the joys of balancing work and heavy medicine with joyful experience of play. He reminded Dreamwalker that he could better hold the attention of those he taught than when humor was integrated with the lesson. Ah. Dreamwalker thanked him and promised to remember the gift of joy. Dreamwalker was nearing his destination. The Arapaho Nation was close at hand. White Stallion came to the front of the herd. Dreamwalker mounted White Stallion's back. White Stallion was the message carrier for all the other horses and represented wisdom in power. This magnificent horse was the embodiment of the balanced medicine shield. No abuse of power will ever lead to wisdom, said White Stalin. Hmm, you, Dreamwalker, have made this journey to heal a brother in need, to share the sacred pipe, and to heal the Mother Earth. You have the knowledge through humility that you are an instrument of great spirit. As I carry you upon my back, you carry the needs of the people on yours. In wisdom, you understand that power is not given lightly, but awarded to those who are willing to carry responsibility in a balanced manner. Dreamwalker, the shaman, had been healed by the visit of the wild horses and knew that his purpose in coming to the Arapaho was to share these gifts with them. In understanding the power of horse, you may see how to strive for a balanced medicine shield. True power is wisdom found in remembering your total journey. Wisdom comes from remembering pathways you have walked in another person's moccasins. Compassion, caring, teaching, loving, and sharing your gifts, talents, and abilities are the gateways to power. Wow. See, that one, like, I'm so excited that that came out. You guys, I feel like you are the first and only one so far throughout all the different signs that horse has come forth that I was able to share that. So... I was really, I'm really excited, uh, expanding your wisdom and then the feathers there too. And if you notice on this, it is a paint horse. So all those colors, even I'm even seeing like a calico cat, which is interesting. Hmm. 
I don't know why I wear the cat. Maybe the Black Panther. So let's finish this up with Black Panther. Thank you all. What are we on time? 114, 37. Yeah, that's that's it. That's all she wrote. Because huh? <laughs> this gets too long. I need to go have a nice, uh, a nice walk around, a stretch. Uh, that's what I do in between. It helps clear the air and get a snack and whatever I need to do before I come back. And I finish, you know, um, depends on how far we get because I didn't get to tarot. I didn't get to the sacred geometry like I'd hoped. I did incorporate a little, but um, there might be a fourth video. I don't know. I gave the Capricorn ones a fourth one. So maybe, I don't know if there's an interlink. I mean, with an interlink with that, we'll see if you end up getting four. But you can check the description, like I said, to link to the next ones. Uh, so embracing the unknown. I, I'm glad I saved this one for the final message. You know, I had everyone was anticipating. What does Bat Black Panther have to say? Thank you all for staying here. 2052, 52. Wow. So maybe in Taurus, these could be ages 33 as well. 20, 52, 31. Into the unknown, seeking clarification. Oh, Midnight Jaguar. Maybe it's midnight when you're watching this even. Wash me with your courage. And steal me with your grace, so I may know the value of the void of time and space. Teach me all your lessons, how to face the dark unknown. Then let me bravely leap into the shadows all alone. Embracing the unknown. 245. 7-Eleven coming through again. Hmm. Black Panther slid silently through the bayou the bayou her golden eyes catching the starlight midnight fur soundlessly rippling over her stealthy sinew muscle and bone she and her mate were the last of their kind in the homeland of the caddo tribe the panther clan had been honored and respected by the red people of the bayou for hundreds of years black panther's medicine allows human beings to face their fears and dark behaviors exploring those internal shadowy aspects of being most of Panther's tribe had been stalked and killed by the other two legs who had come across the big water and who feared their own dark natures. Those people were in need of her healing medicine. That night, the Black Panther stood at the edge of the swampy bayou, the swampy bayou, sniffing at the night, trying to catch the scent of any newcomer willing to go beyond their fears and trust her medicine. No, not on this night, but she would patiently wait for one courageous explorer of the healing potential found in the dark of the unknown. Um, and you guys are the only ones as well to get this card. Um, so this is very fascinating. Very fascinating. It's like been waiting for the person who is ready. So with the Piscean one, okay, Aries... I'm bringing this up because there is kind of an interlink, the shift even. But um, there was, in that one, it was, there was a sense of the person wasn't ready to heal. And you have to let them come to you. Even there's a sense of letting them come to you who is brave enough. Otherwise, people fear what they're, the unknown, right? And they want to kill it. And that's why I was even saying they, so they waited for those. And it was their own darkness, Ah. Uh. Mm. The Caddo, C A D D O people called her clan the Black Panther and her tribe was known as the Midnight or Black Jaguar to the Maya. The color black is honored by the red race. Darkness is the place for seeking and finding answers, for accepting healing and for assessing the hidden light of truth. Black Panther teaches us through our dreams to delve into the places within ourselves that need healing. She shows us how to track the unfamiliar territory found on the journey of self-discovery and to fearlessly face the unknown. If the Black Panther has appeared today, it may be telling you not to worry about the future. Trust that you are not supposed to mentally figure it out at this time. You may need to confront fears of unknown or being less than you truly are or an inability to simply be... Let go of fears that appear as obstacles or barriers. Embrace the unknown and flow with the mystery that is unfolding in your life. The next step may be leaping empty-handed into the void with implicit trust. In the stillness of the void, find the will to discover the healing process. 
Here you will discover Black Panther's unexpected blessings. So upright as well as, and that, you know what? This is beautiful because this is the final message for this uh, video for you. Um, and it is the final card in the deck. This is a completion of learning and self-discovery. Maybe for some of you, maybe you already have this. This is an oldie but a goodie, right? Essentials, apparently. St. Martin. So you got the healing thing on here. Um, wow. And then we got the squirrel. And I feel like, like I've not written anything, but maybe it's a time even to write certain things down through your dreams even. You know, the waking moment. Processing about the author. About the artist. Yeah. Wow. So, I feel like that's kind of... I, I'm taking that as a message. So, the final... Um, so, I still have Taurus to do to complete the series for the month of June. For all the different zodiac signs. Um, but I've already sensed, like I was saying... I'm finishing up with the Sacred Spirit reading cards. And at this time, like... Um, once I finish this, I'm going to be setting them off aside, like, you know, until it's time while I feel guided. I've learned a lot of the information from that. And um, so that's the whole thing of like, I'm not like going to get rid of it, but I am going to switch the focus into learning something new, even um, like the sacred mirrors cards, the antique of anatomy and dive a little deeper and maybe even into the sacred geometry um, I've worked a lot with the animals. They've always been um, my go-to. Even when I when I started redoing this, my first deck again after I decided I wanted to jump back into this was uh, the animal spirit, and I see it here: the spirit of the animals by Jody Bergsma. Um, and I'm just seeing like that. This is showing me this completion of something, right? Jumping into the unknown, even like I. <laughs> the unknown wow new mexico i'm telling you a little bit about some of these authors and artists graphic designer hmm. i think it's very uh, beautiful dancing the dream the meatball fulton <laughs> i'm like what is this anyways jamie sam's is an artist and writer of Cherokee, Seneca, French descent. Mm, David Carson is a writer who grew up in Oklahoma. Both of these are both, so in, in uh, New Mexico, Santa Fe, New Mexico. Hmm. Interesting. All right, that was, uh, that's it. Wow, Aries, thank you all so much. Um, You know, come back around during the month. I feel like, I feel like a monthly is that like you can listen to the whole thing and sometimes, you know, or one of the videos and come back, you know, a week later or a couple days later or what, however you feel guided and continue listening through that month of June and maybe different pieces jump out or spotlight, right? Um, have more resonance, more meaning, uh, depends on where you're at during this time, right? Um, when you do get the video, thank you guys so much. Um, Part three coming up. I'm going to take a quick little break. We'll see where I decide to go with part three. It might be tarot. We might just jump right into tarot and find out what's going on with that. Because um, I've kind of pulled a little of all of it so far. Except for the tarot. All right. Thank you all so much. Bye-bye.